Today we are going to unbox the Water Sparks Digital Liquid Flow Meter. This product is specially used in many residential flats to audit their water usage. Apart from that many industries like pharmaceuticals use this Water Sparks Digital Flow Meter to measure the various kinds of liquids. The product is protected with that bubble wrap packaging so that the product won't get damaged during transportation. Inside the box it has detailed user manual which instructs each and every function of the flow meter. Also to watch the product explanation video you shall just scan the labeled QR code. This product come with a special function called power saving mode, the display will be in an off state, and once the water starts to flow automatically the display turns on and shows the reading. Now I have a hairdryer to show you the demo by considering air as water, but this flow meter is not for air. Here below the totalizer is showing as 6.5 liters. Whatever the water flows it will be added on to this totalizer. Now we turn on the hairdryer and the current value shows here. As of now 343 milliliters has been passed this current flow was added to this totalizer earlier it was showing 6.5 liters now it is showing 6.9 liters which means the current water flow has been added to the totalizer. To check the hourly, weekly, and daily readings press the reset button it will show the value of the water passed recently. To reset the overall totalizer is not possible because this is like a car odometer that can't be erased. But you can erase the other periodical total by long pressing the reset button while it displays the reset total. By this you can check hourly, daily, weekly flow value as per your requirement. So now this periodical total has been reset. To check the speed of the liquid flow, short press the calibration button then below the word flow rate it display the actual speed of the liquid flowing through the flow meter. See now I am switching off the hair dryer the flow rate gradually decreases to zero. To change the units from liters to a gallon or other measuring metrics, press the reset button and long press the calibration button, immediately a word unit will be displayed, and your current unit will be blinking. To change, press the reset button and set your preferred measuring unit. Now we are setting it in liters, to confirm, long press the calibration button, and now it's been set. Let's see now how to calibrate. Density and viscosity differ for each liquid. To calibrate the device long press the calibration button, it displays as cal. Feel this is a factory setting so do not change that, leave that as it is. And press reset button to calibrate. Now again press the calibration button 4 digits will appear. To toggle press the calibration button and bring the blinker to the first digit. To run the flow meter faster increase the value to 1 or 2. And to make it slow set the values as 0.9 or 0.8 based on your liquid. And long press the calibration button to confirm. Orientation and battery. To change the orientation unscrew the four screws, lift the display, and change the orientation as per your requirement, make sure the inner wires don't tamper, and screw this. To change the batteries unscrew the four screws from the stainless steel back panel, lift the entire part, change the batteries, and place the back part. Position the stainless steel panel and screw it. Finally, before fixing the unit check this arrow mark which indicates the water flow direction and connect it. Any plumber can connect this product in the pipeline with the help of two numbers of 1 inch FTA.